Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to combine two products on Shopify in one product. Now, this is actually very simple to do, but we will have to do a little bit of stuff that requires some tech knowledge. So, first of all, what we'll have to do is we'll have to go and select the products that we want to merge, right? Or select the products that we want to combine. So, once we select the products that we want to combine, this is just a sample products, by the way. But once you selected these two products, go to export and we're going to export uh, selected two products with a CSV file for Excel or other spreadsheet programs. We export this here. Now, once that has been exported right here, we can go to our spreadsheet or Excel, go to file, go to import right here. And here we can drag and drop, go to upload and drag and drop it right here. And here we can just import data, as you can see. And now, as you can see, we'll have a lot of different things. We'll have handle, we'll have, uh, you know, title of the product, we'll have the body of the product, vendor, product category, and a lot of different things. Now, what you can do here is you can first change the handle so that all these products together have one name because these two products will have, will be one product, right? So we can just go here and change this name to, um, for example, this is going to be just an example, but let's change the name to, you know, shorts. Let's say it's shorts and then we just drag in like this. And now this entire product is actually one product. Uh, now what we can also do is obviously we can, you know, um, go on the photos right here, image position, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what we need to do is we need to go here and change this to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this is going to be nine. You know, this is going to be 10, then 11, 12, 13, 14, and then we're going to do 15. Um, you can do this, by the way, just by dragging as well. So, um, and then obviously you can change also, uh, it depends on your product, um, but here you can change also the status. You can, you can change this like this. And that's pretty much it. You know, now what you can do is you can go file, um, you can go to export. We're actually going to go to download and then we're going to download uh, a CSV file um, right here. And now what we can do is we can go to import here. We can add a CSV file here and make sure that it's here, publish new products to all sales channels and don't click this. So click upload and continue. And now what we actually have done, as you can see that there, there was an error, but um, you can try to uh, have like this again. And also make sure that you, when you're exporting here, you can also export in XLS as well if you want right here. But after you go here and after you upload and continue, you will be able to replace a product. Now, right now, uh, for me, I don't know why it uh, is jumping with the error, but uh, as you can see, status isn't valid. See the status as active draft or archived. So what you can do is you can go with XLS. Maybe that will, um, yeah, XLS must be CSV. So you can go here, download CSV, and uh, again, make sure that you're doing this. I would preferably do this in Excel because obviously the spreadsheet is not working. Uh, but after you upload this, you will have one universal product that you can place, um, you know, on your Shopify store. So these two products behind will be one universal product. So I hope this video helps you uh, in some way or form. If you have some technical difficulties, comment down below and I'll help you out. But until then, thank you guys for watching.